Hi guys, today's topic is Go Diagram. The contents will be uh, base axis, radial ply tire, cross ply tire, both of types, and the summary. Uh, this is a quiz for you. Uh, what is not informed in the Go Diagram? Uh, number one, uh, lateral force, self aligning torque, side slip angle, a pneumatic trail, and finally, camber angle. Let's review the types of forces related to the side slip angle. This picture depicts the car moving with the constant speed and the constant steering angle in a circle of radius r. The direction of a vehicle is continuously changed because it is moving around in a circle. Uh, therefore, centripetal uh, forces acting at all four tire contact patches are produced like this. Front left tire, front right tire, rear left tire, rear right tire. A central petal force is equal to the sum of all the tire cornering forces. The pictures here exaggerate the deformation of front left tire turning to the right to show the clear images. Uh, we have top view in the left and the front view in the right. A vertical red axis is parallel to the longitudinal axis of the vehicle body. Uh, when we turn the tire with the steering angle delta, a side slip angle alpha, and the lateral force F sub y here are produced in response to wheel side force F sub w. Wheel rim is heading for positive x axis. Uh, but tire is moving along a v axis. The tire deformation uh, due to difference between x and v axis produces the shear stress and the pneumatic trail, this of alpha, and the self aligning moment, m sub z. Uh, the force component of a lateral force uh, perpendicular to a V axis is the cornering force here. Back to the main topic, uh, let's make the uh, Go diagram. Go diagram, or another name, Go plot, has the lateral force in the vertical axis and the self aligning moment in the horizontal axis. Uh, green lines here represents the constant pneumatic trails. In the Go diagram, a pneumatic trail is drawn as straight line corresponding to its value. The slope of that line equal to the reciprocal of pneumatic trail for the given units in this graph. And now we are all set to draw the Go diagram. For example, uh, let's assume we have a data set of side slip angle, lateral force, and the self aligning moment in a tire normal force 4 kN at the speed 50 km per hour for radial tire as shown in the table. We can get this shape by marking and connecting the small circles corresponding the data values in the previous table. As I said, uh, please don't focus on the numeric values, uh, but pay attention to the shape of representing the tendency of relationship between all the factors. Uh, you can see here the increment of lateral force here are almost the same until the side slip angle reaches 4 degrees. A is equal to B, uh, B is equal to C, C is equal to D. It tells us uh, lateral force is linearly changed uh, with respect to the side slip angle until 4 degrees. Uh, you can find this explanation in the 19th video. You can find the self-aligning moment 
uh, by drawing the vertical line at the small circle. It does not linearly change in proportion to side slip angle. Uh, the increment of self-aligning moment is continuously decreases until its maximum value. So A is greater than B, B is greater than C, like this. Uh, you can find this explanation in 19th video. Then we can get this shape uh, by marking and connecting the small circle corresponding each data for 4 kN, 5 kN, 6 kN. Furthermore, uh, we can get the constant side slip angle lines uh, by connecting the same side slip angles corresponding each tire normal force in this direction, like this. Consequently, uh, we can end up with the Go diagram including uh, the constant side slip angles in the next slide. Now we have a red curves for constant side slip angles, like this. Uh, this completes a Go diagram. We have the information of lateral force, self-aligning torque, pneumatic trail, side slip angles, tire normal forces, and so on. In the same procedure, uh, we can get the Go diagrams for cross ply tire for various tire normal forces 4 kN, 5 kN, 6 kN, and so on. We can get this graph by putting all the data set for both a radial and cross ply tire having the same diameter. Uh, in the beginning uh, range of side slip angle, self aligning moment of cross ply tire is less than that of radial ply tire because cross ply tire has a shorter pneumatic trail than radial tire does as explained in the previous video. Uh, let's find the answer to the quiz. The answer is number 5, camber angle. Here we have the summary. A uh, Go diagram can express constant normal forces, constant side slip angles, constant pneumatic trails on the vertical axis of the lateral force and the horizontal axis of self-aligning moment. A pneumatic trail is drawn as straight line corresponding to its value. The slope of that line is equal to the reciprocal of a pneumatic trail. Go diagram helps us find all the information related to the tire side slip all at once. If you watch the previous videos, you can easily understand upcoming videos. Recently, I explained the difference between radial tire and cross ply tire on lateral force, self-aligning moment, pneumatic trail, and the steering feedback. Last week, I explained the importance of center of gravity height related to the driving on the banked round the road. Uh, please remind, pre-subscription makes your fast approach to brand new upcoming videos. The next video is tire side slip 6. I will explain mechanical trail and the pneumatic trail. See you in next video. Goodbye guys.